hi everyone today i'm gonna share with you what i did to my hair and what happened to my hair after drenching it with oils for those of you that don't know i actually applied 100 tablespoons of oil on my natural hair it's an extreme hot oil treatment and i really like the results it's not the first time that i do this kind of treatment and i felt like i needed to do it again here is the next day after applying 100 tablespoons of oil on my hair. It was not really comfortable to sleep with all of these on my hair, but it was still worth it because my hair feels so soft, flexible, and highly nourished now. Here I'm showing you all the oils that dripped into the plastic bag. I really made sure to saturate my hair with oils. 100 tablespoons of oil was probably too much. I can try to use half the amount of oil next time. My hair was in a simple bun, so I'm just unraveling it right now. My natural hair is still full of oil, as you can see. It's weighed down by the oil, so I have less volume. The oil is not dripping from my hair anymore, but if I wear my hair down, of course, it's gonna mess up my clothes. This extreme hot oil treatment is very efficient in my opinion, but it's very messy. I love to do this kind of extreme nourishing treatment for my hair, especially during the winter. Right now, I live in the north of Sweden and the weather is quite harsh on my hair, so sometimes I say to myself that extreme hair treatments are required for extreme weather. Of course, I don't think I would actually do this kind of treatment in the Caribbean. Before applying the oils to my hair, I had some dead skin and dandruff on my scalp, but it totally disappeared. It's as if the oil treatment cleansed my scalp, which is great. It was like an oil scalp cleansing, but without rinsing out the oils. Also, my hair feels so soft, flexible, and it's so easy to detangle. If you do this hot oil treatment, I advise you to let it sit for at least two days before shampooing so that your hair can really benefit from it. Personally, I let this hot oil treatment sit on my hair for 10 days before shampooing. Now I'm gonna twist my hair as I'm showing you here because I'm staying home all day so I don't have to do any fancy hairstyle. After this, I'm just gonna do a simple bun. I can actually style my hair in a better way, but as I told you, I'm staying home so I don't really care. As you can see, my sweater has absorbed some oil from my hair, but it's not a big deal because I cleaned it very well later on. Here, I'm showing you my nighttime routine. I have about 7 twists and I'm just gonna tie them up in a bun like so. Then I would simply put on my satin scarf. You can actually do the baggy method or the GHE method if you are really serious about hair growth and length retention. I've made a video about it if you want to check it out, it's called 3 length retention hacks to grow long hair, I will put the link of the video in the description box. Of course, make sure to protect your pillows and your bed sheets because they can also absorb some oil from your hair. Here, I'm just showing you a hairstyle that I would wear during the week. It's a twisted bun, it's very simple to do, you just have to do a ponytail, do 3 or more twists and pin them up in a bun. 
it takes less than 10 minutes to do. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.